Hi everyone, and today's video is very exciting because I'll be introducing you to my new rescue snake, Pedro. So as you can see, Pedro here is a boa constrictor. He was actually given to me as a hog island, but I can believe he is definitely not a hog island. Um, he's three years old and he's a hypo. Um, so let's get into his story. So basically the guy that had him before is moving country because of work and he wanted to, he was originally selling him and is set up for about a hundred, 250 pounds. Um, I saw it. He's also the guy that gave me um, two vivs. He gave me that four foot behind me and he gave me a three foot, which um, Jasmine's living in downstairs. Um, so he he's obviously, he knew what I had snakes and stuff. He messaged me because he was moving on the Tuesday and this was Monday I got pet drive so he was moving literally the next day and he was like I urgently need to get give um, my boa a home would you take him um, and I was like um, I, I had to check with my mum because obviously I'm not 18 yet and I am living in a parents house and she said that I could have him and um, so Pedro here is now living with me. Um, he was he was really well looked after. I mean, he's definitely not um, he's definitely not like a completely abandoned. But obviously, he couldn't keep him, so that makes his my my responsibility. I don't know what he's doing. He's climbing down my back. So basically, Pedro here he's can be a little bit funny with handling. He can he was a little bit snappy. I'm trying to find out where his head is. He can be a bit snappy. Um, he will like hiss, but I'm just got to work on his taming and like hold him a lot. Um, I am gonna probably invest in getting a hook and try and hook training him, just because obviously when he gets bigger, um, I don't want to have like a six, seven foot male boa and they're gonna be really snappy. So basically, um, and also he's not confirmed male, so I don't know if he's actually male. Or he could be female. Probably when. Um, Tyler's reptiles next come and see me, sees me, I might get her to sex him for me. Um, but I do think he's male, just because he's three years old and he's pretty small. So, also about his size, I know I'll probably have a few people saying about um, his enclosure and like where he would be when he's fully grown. But um, because he, obviously he will be bigger, a lot bigger than my royals, I can actually fit I'm in a new room from what I was last time. This November reptile room tours, it was is a different room to my um sorry, he's like distracting me. It's a different room to my old room. I've moved into a bigger bedroom purely because like then I could fit all the reptiles in and their full grown setups. So basically I will be able to fit an eight foot viv, but um I will most probably might keep him downstairs just because then I could um, probably get an even bigger viv than an eight foot. I might be able to get him uh, some sort of custom large viv. So I'm more excited as he is quite small at the moment. He is actually living in the four foot. I won't be showing his setup in this video just because I want to perfect it before I show you it. It's still like pretty good for a basic setup, but like I'm just waiting on a few things to come through the post. Um, so yeah, that is Pedro. I'm so excited to keep him. Like obviously, you'll see him in my Reptile Room Tour videos and I'll keep you updated on him and how he's doing. But yeah, this is Pedro. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye-bye.